Hi Sagittarius, this is Marisha, you are my channel Trilaka. I'm using my slow tarot deck to see what messages or what guidance is coming through for the Sagittarians out there for the first half of September 2019. In the first set, you've got the fortune. Second card is a five swords. And the last card is a seven of swords in reverse. I want to say something has come to light. Whatever you have been doing behind somebody's back, Okay, you might have been involved because the last card is a three of what? Oh yeah, temptation card. Okay, and there is a three of cups energy which I noticed when I pulled it, and the energy which was coming through was regards to um, uh, somebody found out about what you were doing behind their back. Okay, and this has affected your foundation because behind the deck is a hierophant. Okay, and if you look at that person, he's bleeding. He's bleeding out. His hands are bleeding out. And also, um, also uh, his face. I think blood is bleeding out from every uh, every pore. Okay. Yeah, bleeding out through his ears, eyes. I don't know why they have such an image. Anyways, uh, your foundation your um, what do I say your relationship is being affected okay now I would say somebody found out your significant other might have found out what you're doing behind their back okay it might have come to the open okay uh, seven of Swords in a reverse. It is not anymore a secret. Whatever the secret was, it has come to light because somebody was watching. If you look at this card, there is this little white cat watching. Okay. I also want to say, um, um, it is not your person who is watching. Okay. Your not your significant. Just a quick thought came through. It is not just your significant other who knows about this. This is also um what karma i don't normally um uh you know say things like this in my readings but for some reason for some reason it is coming through for your reading sagittarians okay um in all these three cards and the hierophant card it, it tells me it's strong for me okay anyways the fire swords it's like you have pissed the gods about, okay? And they want you to, you know, um, how do I put this now? They want you to repent for what you've done, okay? You're not getting away with it. You're not getting away with it. You might think when you're doing something, nobody is watching you. Okay? You might be like very cautious. The room is empty. You might be stealing something. You might be like, no, nobody is going to catch you. There is no one watching. But there is somebody about there who is watching your actions. There is a CCTV about everybody's head. Even if you can't see the CCTV, Somebody is actually watching up there. Okay? Your good deeds and bad deeds are being watched. You cannot detect it, but then it will come back to you. Okay? The things which you do without expecting anything in back, which are like good deeds. Okay? That affects your karma in a good way. It will come back to you, maybe threefold, fourfold, or tenfold. Hmm? Depends on the way you approached things. And then, if it is bad karma, it is all about what you were doing. You know, um, behind people's back for your own benefit, all that. Okay, you were. 
deceiving somebody, uh, someone, you're betraying somebody, and y you think you will get away with it. Maybe in the physical world, you will get away with it. Okay, you won't be caught, you won't be put behind the bars or anything of that sort. But then, I don't want it to be such a philosophical reading, but I had to say this. Mm, but then, somebody up there is scripting your life. Hmm? You will pay back for what you're doing or what you've done. So, just saying, somebody is watching. And made me speak about all this because of this white cat, a white cat, okay? You might have been sneaking out, okay? Watching your back, seeing nobody is watching you, okay? But then you don't notice this little white cat staring up at you. Hmm? Karma is a bitch. But here it is like a little kitty. Yes. You want a bitch here? It's a little kitten. Who's watching? And there will be payback for you. I might get a couple of dislike for this, but oh boy. Okay. Fortune. You have been gambling. Okay? Gambling with your luck for too long. Not getting caught. You know, you were testing your luck for too long, man. If you look at this lady, you just noticed one of her eyes is closed and one of her eyes is open. Somebody is watching you, but you are not aware of it. It's like somebody is actually watching. So it, it seems like the person is sleeping. Okay, the person is not watching, but then one eye is open. Hmm? You're testing your luck. That's what I'm getting from this card. You have gotten away a couple of times. But now, it seems like you're in the radar. You're under the radar. People, or more like what I said, you have been watched from up there. Okay? There is a payback for you. Five swords, it's an angel which is keeping the sword at your neck. You're answerable. You're answerable for your actions. It's like the judgment card. Hmm? The vibe for your reading right now is like the judgment card. You will be answerable one day because you have been watched. It is out in the open. Anyways, again, seven of coins. Okay, you're gambling here as well. Like I said, you were testing your, testing your luck. Okay, seeing nobody is watching. Okay. But here, again, the same lady. Oh my God, what a lady. It's the same woman in both these cards. If you look at the green woman, okay, the fortune lady, it's like a spirit. It's not a person. It's not a physical um, being, okay? This is like a spirit. Nobody on this table can see this, see this lady, okay? Because the lady is literally uh, literally watching the cards of this person and how he is playing. Yeah? Yes. I don't know who this is for, but uh, it's having that, uh, you know, kind of beating which comes through once in a while, you know? You're being watched from up there. Okay? Your actions will have consequences. And they're going to make sure about it. Okay? They are watching you. They are watching 
how you're gambling with your life. Okay? There is deception in this card as well. Okay? One of the person is holding onto a card behind their back, not showing the whole story. Not telling the whole story. Okay? You might come out, you know, out in the open, oh, I've done this, but that's not the whole story. You're not telling the whole story as it is. Okay? You're saving your ass in the situation so you can come out of it in one piece. But somebody else out there knows the whole story as it is because they have been watching you for some time, what you were doing all along. They know the whole story as it is. Hmm? Oh my God. Atonement in reverse. Discard it now, pride. Atoning is amending your situation. Amending, fixing something which you have wronged, fixing your uh, sins. Okay? Amending your sins. Correction. It's a correction card. But it's in reverse. You are not ready to. You're not ready to repent. But I want to say you will be forced to repent. Hmm? With these two cards coming out in the same position as the second card in the reading, the Fire Swords and the Adornment card coming in the same position, I want to say you will be forced to repent for your actions. Okay? To balance out your life, to balance out your karma, you need to pay back. I'm just putting it out there. You will be forced to pay back for what you have done, what you thought you might get away with. Hmm? Somebody was watching you, somebody will make you pay. Because every action will have a consequence. Okay, every action is a deed. Okay, deed. D double E D deed. Okay? Which will affect your you know the bottle of karma. Good deeds and bad deeds. It's like brownie points. But here they they will force you to repent for your actions. Oh my god, I was soft here. I'm going to lose some of my subscribers just for this reading. Oh my. They're going to make it balanced. Okay? They're going to balance it out. They're going to be third party in your life. Here, okay, there's a waiter who's very, you know, uh, serving this tea. Okay? You might be one of the people. This is your life. You're sitting on this table. The table is your life. Okay? It's all fiery. If you look at these ladies, the hair is, you know, flying out. You know? Your karma will make you slow down. Will make you slow down. Okay? Bring a balance into your life. This is the same person as the green lady, the fortune lady, the same person is coming in your picture. You're going to bring balance in your life. After you pay back, it will make you pay back actually. Am I scaring you guys? Yeah. Paraffined, bleeding. Yeah? It's like you have rebelled against the traditions. Okay? You have rebelled against what is right and what is wrong. It was like Jesus is bleeding for you. I'm a Hindu. I have no, um, I do not offend 
religion because I'm somebody who will, uh, who is very spiritual and uh, you know believe in all the religions. It's like you are making the gods bleed. Your actions are bleeding them. Hmm? They have no choice now. They were unseen. Whatever shit you were doing, okay, behind everybody's back, they were like I said, one eye is closed and one eye is open. They were um, willing for some time to let it go. Hmm? Now it's like it's time to fix you. <laughs> it's time to fix you. Huh? It's time for you to repent. Sun card in reverse. I think you just can, you know, click off from this reading and come back for the next reading. Yeah. Like, it's okay, just leave. This is a very negative reading. At least it will be awakening for some of you for whom this reading resonates. Okay? Because otherwise it didn't have to come through like this. There is a reason for why a reading has to come through. The sun card in reverse. Things are not going to be all that cheerful or rosy anymore. It's going to be a tough period when this is going to be forced on you. But you'll have to go through it. You will have to go through it. Even if it is not fun, Okay? You're not going to enjoy it. You will have to go through it. The sun card of light is like this. Beautiful. Enjoying the life. But now, whatever this story is about, you're not going to enjoy this atonement. Okay? Three of Cups. I also want to say some of you people out there might have been um, in a third party relationship, okay, or um, you know, tempted by third party relationships, going out of your own uh, boundaries, which is like your own relationship, your marriage, etc., because you know, your foundation is bleeding, like initially, which I spoke about. You know, you were doing something behind somebody's back, okay, that might be the reason it has affected your relationship okay and that shows me about this temptation okay you don't need it you don't you have your wife in your house or you have your husband in your house you don't need uh, another person for the same needs yeah but I see you going out there these two cards together temptation and I'll just put it out there bluntly. Thanks. Okay? Some of you, Sagittarius out there, might have been going out of your um, relationship, having affairs with multiple people. With multiple people. Okay? Just sleeping around. I'm sorry for this reading, but... Jeez. Like, seriously. This is all about sleeping around as well, yeah? There's so many couples, uh, and there are so many people are behind this lady as well, who's together doing the deed, yeah? So that is what, bringing a balance, okay? Somebody up there is going to make you realize your mistakes. Mm? Going to show you the light And how you're living your life, which is, which is fucking toxic. Hmm? I think I'll stop here. This is Marisha, you're my channel vlogger. Until next week, bye. I'm sorry for the swing, seriously.